Phoenix Splash TV. Well, hello there, people of the J Rock clan, fellow subscriber, or just looky Lou who accidentally clicked this video. One OK Rock, or One O'Clock Rock is a band that has been suggested to me by many users, whether it be on Facebook or YouTube, and I've been trying to do this episode for a while now. You might be wondering why the uh-oh in the title. Well, I'm just going to say it now, it was a bad first impression. Like something that would happen in a romantic comedy or something. Now before I go on, I'm going to say that I respect the hell out of 1OK Rock. The musicality, song structure, and live performances are all very good. There are many things I like about 1OK Rock, but at the same time there was something about them that just wanted to make me listen to something else. So what was it about 1OK Rock that turned me off? Well it was a number of factors. For instance, with this first impression, I didn't go on the forums and look up the top 1OK rock songs of all time. Instead, I listened to one of their albums, their newest album to be exact. This may have been a problem since a lot of their fans claim that their best stuff is their older works, but my brother had the album and I wanted to listen to something physical. So now that I had the album, I pumped it up and listened to it. The first thing I noticed about 1OK Rock was that it really wasn't a J-Rock band, or at least with this album. It wasn't exactly J-Rock, which might go over some people's heads. Yeah, sure they're Japanese, but the style of music had American rock and pop written all over it. One of the reasons I listen to J-Rock is to get away from that American rock and roll style. You know, the stuff you hear with Blink-182 and whatnot. So I'm listening to the album and I notice something about the lyrics. I like to call this style of lyric pop writing. With 1OK Rock's lyrics, you're not going to get into that poetry style that you would find in a band like The Smiths or even X Japan. It's the type of lyric that you would find in your standard American band. You know, nothing too complicated because you gotta cater to those, you know, the mainstream audience who could relate to this type of lyric. Personally, I like poetry. It's funny because I could usually stand J-Rock bands with simple lyrics, but because these are in English, they seem to bother me more. Now, even though that's a turnoff with 1OK Rock, they still had key changes and other interesting things musically. So with patience, I could listen past all of the lyrics, but then something else happened. One day, I put 1OK Rock on my MP3 player and accidentally clicked the wrong folder to a band called The Oral Cigarettes, another band that I wanted to give a chance once I got a chance to listen to them. Unfortunately for 1OK Rock, Oral Cigarettes blew me away. They were like rad wimps mixed with Michael Jackson. That's a pretty damn good combination. So the next day, when I listened to music and during my downtime, I would put on oral cigarettes instead of 1OK Rock. I did that when I exercised too and when I drove my car. Pretty much oral cigarettes stole my attention away from 1OK Rock, simply because I preferred the style of music more. Are oral cigarettes lyrics simple? Maybe. I don't know, they're in Japanese so it doesn't really get in the way of the musicality like it did with 1OK Rock, for me. I found myself forcing myself to listen to 1OK Rock, and listen to the same style brought to you by the style used by Blink-182, All Time Lows, etc. In all fairness though, there were some songs that stood out. Like I thought Heartache was a well written ballad. Other than that, I wasn't a big fan of the other songs. It's not that they're bad, it's more like they aren't my style, and they're not intended for my demographic. But remember when I said that 1OK Rock reminds me of Blink-182 and All Time Lows? Well, I found out that 1OK Rock has a composer, John Fieldman, whom has written for many of the bands that I compare them to in my head. When I found out about this, I was frustrated to say the least. Like, damn, really? If you've seen my baby metal video, then you know where I stand on bands having composers and being a conglomerate and whatnot. Now, 1OK Rock isn't as a conglomerate as Baby Metal, since Fieldman has only a co-writer credit, but I still hear that style all over this album. 
And the funny thing is, this is the only album from 1OK Rock that he has a writer's credit for. So this begs the question, is their older stuff better? Well, since this is a first impressions video, I'm not going to go all detective on it, so I just listened to one song, Wherever You Are. And I had to admit, I did like it better than probably everything I heard on their new album. There was none of the commercial motifs that you hear in their newer stuff. It's easy to tell that Warner Brothers got involved with the sound of 1OK Rock, and wanted them to sound like the other bands that made them profitable. So that way 1OK Rock has that sound. The same thing happened to Muse, and hey, it looks like it kind of worked. Thanks Japan. I'm not the only one who thinks this too, many of their international fans complain that their music is becoming too Americanized. Even though the song structure was good, the melody structure of the songs were familiar, and unlike casual listeners, I don't get excited when I hear something familiar in a new song, I want to hear something new. With politics involved and the oral cigarettes distracting me, 1OK Rock plus me was just never meant to be. So I guess I give this first impressions a 2 out of 5. It was probably the wrong album to listen to, and it's probably the wrong time to get into them too. There's probably better music by them out there. You can blame this guy for it and the prepubescent girls that they're trying to market this band to. Yeah, but I have to have one bad first impression, right? And again, it's not like I think 1OK Rock is bad, I'm pretty sure they have some good stuff out there. I just probably heard the wrong things. Anyways guys, what do you think about 1OK Rock? Is there a better album to listen to? You wanna rip my ass a new one in the comments for not liking them? Leave it all in the comments below. And I have to give a special shout out to Shadow Boy Speaks G24, also known as the Grim Reaper. That's right, Death himself suggested 1OK Rock to me. And I know that other people suggested it to me, but this was the first one I believe. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, this is Game Analyzer, signing off.